Hey guys, this is Hell Hades. This is a Raid Shadow Legends video. Guys, yesterday I spoke about this new way of utilizing your fragments, past fragments in, uh, I don't have them on the free to play, but yeah, oh, I do actually. I've got Zenoda fragments because I was never able to get this champion. We're going to be able to convert these into new rewards as well as a new hero. And they just dropped the information on the new hero. So we're going to check it out. I guess firstly, let's have a look at the visual. I mean, I don't know how she's seeing anything, but. Hi, Mother Maud, right here. Let's check out the, the kind of spin around as well. Okay, nice. Almost like a, obviously a, a sacred, is it sacred order or banner lord actually? I think it's sacred order. Liking this though, liking the kind of glow in, in behind. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, so we like it. So far, all good. Is the hero any good? And bearing in mind, this is probably another one of those longer term projects, right? You're not just trying to pick her up in five minutes because, you've, well, some people might, but you get 10 chests a week, even if you've got the fragments already. So you need the fragments to convert into heroes or into chests, sorry. And then within those chests, you could get brews, you could get books, you could get, um, there was all sorts of trash, honestly, but there was <coughs> fragments for this hero. And I'd imagine, but bearing in mind, you can only open 10 chests a week. It's probably going to take the average player with a ton of resources several weeks, I would imagine. Yeah, it's probably a lower rate to get her fragments than it is to get the, the other kind of tr more trashy stuff. I will just say, let me just read out what Raid have got to say about it before I go into a kit. Folks, we are revealing the brand new champion that can be obtained through Fragment Exchange feature. Sacred Order, Legendary, Support-Based Force Champion. Okay. High Mother Maud is designed as a universal support champion that will be useful in all areas of the game. A1 decrease attack, yeah. Okay, goes for her skills. A passive, chance to remove debuffs. Already sounds interesting. Um, and she can be empowered by using her copies. Meaning, uh, High Mother Maud can be empowered by using her copies, meaning there's no limit to the number of High Mother Maud fragments you can get through the exchange. Oh, okay. Interesting. So you can't pull her from a shard. I thought it was going to be a case of you get her and then you empower her through another champion like they do with a lot of these, you know, like a ninja is empowered by Noble. Turns out you can just keep going. So it's a very long-term play to potentially get a plus four. Very long-term play. Uh, anyway, let's go through a kit, see what's going down. So A1. Blessed Spear, attacks an enemy, 50% books to 70% chance of placing decrease attack. Also, books to 100% chance of placing increase attack on the ally with the highest attack for one turn. I've got to say, I don't like it when there's a chance increase on buffs. It just feels so sly, honestly. It feels a bit sly. But when she is booked out, that's pretty damn solid. So. 100% chance to place increased attack on the ally with the highest attack for one turn. So decreased attack A1 I like, and then an attack boost for your damage dealer is actually good as well. Decreased attack is particularly good for clan boss earlier on if you're not building unkillable stuff. But there's also a whole bunch of bosses, you know, like Sintranos bosses, like Doom Tower bosses, where just constantly throwing out that decreased attack A1 is really, really effective. In fact, Amius really need to decrease attack a one solid champion so that's pretty good anointed phalanx phalanx that you say it so attacks all enemies books to a three turn books to a hundred percent chance of decreasing the duration of all enemy buffs by two turns that's actually quite big two turn buff reduction then increasing ally buffs by one turn so normally that's by one turn not two for these abilities then increases ally buffs by a turn and heals for 20% as well. That's a double thumbs up. That skill's actually really nice. Yeah, really nice. If it hits as well, damn, that's going to be insanely good. I like that. I like the heal based on this champion's HP. That's nice. Um, removing two layers of buffs is very good. And then increasing your buffs is always a solid skill. Psalm of Revival. Revive all dead allies with half health, half turn meter. That's pretty solid. This is on a four turn if you book it. If an ally's defense is equal to or higher than their attacks, so if they're a defensive champion, you give them increased defense. 
and if they're an attacking champion, you give them increased attack. This skill's kind of good. So the revive is good. Yeah, half health, half turn meter on a four turn is very solid. This kind of like increased defense or attack thing, I don't know how I feel about it. It's, it sounds brilliant on paper, but when you've got the reality of, I kind of want someone in there potentially just buffing my defense. Like, I, potentially I just want everyone's defense buffed. This is setting it up as if it was like a damage move. When sometimes for your support champion, you just want to keep people alive. I like it, but I'm not sure how much I like it. The only other thing with this is it's on a four turn cooldown if you book it, six if you don't. And champions like this, where you've got a revive mechanic, which also does buffs, they'll use it all the time. And which means your revive suddenly goes on this long cooldown if you play stuff on auto. Certainly if you're doing like a Hydra run, for example, which you might be decent for Hydra. You know, doing that buff versus saving the revive, I don't know if I like it either. So there's, there's a couple of like nuances to this, but it's definitely not, a, I mean, a full team revive, you're going to like it. Yeah, so it, it's not bad. Shining Evensong removes one random debuff from all allies at the start of this champion's turn. That's a great skill. This is a Doom Priest S skill. And I would got to say, like, if I am struggling to beat content, even on my main, Doom Priest is one of the champions that I turn to. A heal every turn and a, a debuff strip every turn is so strong in the game. So she's doing the debuff strip when she gets a go. So build her fast. She does it often. Also places continuous heal on the ally with the lowest HP for a turn when she finishes her turn. That's not quite as good. So the Doom Priest heals everyone and cleanses. Uh, but obviously, Doom Priest is, the rest of Doom Priest's kit is trash, whereas the rest of this kit is actually really good. I think this is a great legendary. Increases accuracy in all battles by 60. So I guess the question is, like, where does she fit? Would she get into teams on my main account? Probably in, in stuff like Curse City, yeah, probably, because there's a, there's a whole bunch of restrictions and she's a good support. I guess let's have a quick look in Sacred Order where she's going to end up. In terms of support type champions that are doing this, this type of job, so you've got the Archbishop does some nice healing. Is actually a solid champion. Bivald kind of similar, shielding and healing and provokes and stuff. There's not much in the way of support, though. In terms of, like, voids, I mean, Cardio's god-tier support. But yeah, probably fits this faction really well. Really good reviver for the faction. I think that's a, a good addition, honestly. I think it's a good addition. Um, and I think, bearing in mind, everybody over time can get this champion, for sure. You know, even the free-to-players out there, you can't tell me. If you're free-to-play, all I ever hear you saying is that you didn't manage to get the fragments done. I hear it a lot. Oh, I only got 40, I only got 50, I only got 60, I only got 70, I got close with 80. This is like for you. This is the exact champion for you because, okay, we might get some trash chests along the way, but you will definitely get the champion over time. And I don't think it's going to be that long. So, um, yeah, I think this is a good addition. I think it's a good champion. And um, it's a double thumbs up from me. Anyway, I've been Hell Hades. Enjoy your day. I'll see you soon. <laughs>